Hey, a blessed good night to you guys. Tonight we're on again. Prophetic word. Yes, God has released a word in the spiritual realm. And he's using my lips tonight to release it in the earth realm. Into your lives, into your home, into your family, into your marriages, into your businesses, into your ministries. Wherever God has called you, God has released a word. And your life will be blessed by receiving this word tonight. I want to already start prophesying to somebody that your life will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Madabra de boko rimendere ke ser. I cabrundo ramande de ke si ke limondo. A blessed good night to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. My God, my God. Lord, I thank you, Lord, in advance for all you're about to do. For every life that will be transformed. For every life that will be blessed tonight. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Just speak to the Lord. Just talk to the Lord right now. He says, make your request known unto me in thanksgiving. In other words, tell him thanks in advance for the things that you're desiring from him. Whatever you want God to do for you and your family tonight, just say a simple thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for, for my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for this day. Just tell him thank you. Just tell him thank you because he's about to do great and mighty things in your life, in your family, in your home, in your business. Madabra de Bokuri Mando. Good night, Alicia Hodge. Good night, Macy Breastport. Good night, each and every one of you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. The topic for tonight is the oil that never runs dry. The oil that never runs dry. The reason why I'm telling you guys to tell the Lord thank you. To tell the Lord thank you because the safest way to secure the blessing that God has poured out into your life is to say simple, thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. You don't have to sound professional to, to serve the Lord. You don't have to sound professional to speak to Jesus. All you have to do is reverence him and honor his name by saying thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. What you guys can do before we we continue is share this live stream. Share, 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 share. Share this live stream. Start tagging your family members. Start tagging your friends. Start tagging your neighbors. Everybody that comes to your mind right now, you just tag them. This is the live stream that you put on your television and you put the whole family to sit down and watch it. Why? Because it is the word of God. The word of God is so powerful that it can change your mind. It can change your life. It can break addictions. It can break courses. It can, it can raise you up. It can bless you. It can remove courses. It can shift your life to the next level. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is is powerful and God has released a prophetic word in the spiritual realm and he's using my lips tonight to release it into your life and this is the purpose of this video the oil that never runs dry the oil that never runs dry so start tagging your family members start tagging them tagging them tagging them right now in the comment sections I want to see persons tagging their family members tagging your family members tagging your friends share Share, 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 share. Madabra di coromundo robocusia. E caramanda ribocusia. E che remundo. Rabade che rebocusia. E che rebocusia. Jo brocuse. Jo brocuse. E cabrande. E cabrande. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We exalt your name. We glorify a name. Ela bara bari coromonde de que se. Ela mando romonde de que se. Limundo o coremende. Yes, yes, yes. I love what I'm seeing in the comment section there. Keep tagging your family members. Keep tagging your friends. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Whilst you guys are tagging them and whilst you guys are sharing, I'm going to just pray a little. And then we're going to head straight into the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
we invoke your blood over this platform we invoke your blood over our lives over our families we declare your word that says lord you've blotted out every ordinance and every unwriting you've nailed to the cross so we declare by the legal blood of jesus that tonight as we enter your word by your spirit lord there will be no enchantments there will be no divinations there will be no demonic distractions there will be no witchcraft tonight we declare by the power of the spirit of the living god that every witchcraft spell will be broken every curse will be broken every centeria will fail white magic will fail black magic will fail every works of darkness the word of god says the son of god was made manifested that he would destroy the works of the devil so i decree and declare over this platform tonight that the works of the devil is destroyed there will be no distractions there will be no disconnections there will be no disruptions in the name of jesus we declare by the spirit of the living god there will be a smooth flow we will oh lord we thank you lord that you will open our minds and our understanding that we would hear and receive your word and understand your word tonight that it will be a blessing not only to us but everyone that we come into contact with tonight and onwards in jesus name in jesus name amen amen a blessed good night to you to mika gilks the topic for tonight is the oil that never runs dry the oil that never runs dry i want you guys to brace yourself tonight because god is about to release a grace oh my god a grace a oil upon your life and when this grace comes upon your life my god it is going to provoke many of you to pray it is going to provoke many of you to fast it is going to provoke many of you to spend time in the secret place it is going to provoke many of you to spend time in the presence of god and this oil the lord said to me i am going to pour out the oil upon my people and it is going to never run dry when this oil comes upon your marriage my my brother my sister it will never run dry when this oil falls upon your family it will never run dry when this oil comes upon your business somebody oh my god when this oil drops out upon your business my god it will never run dry mandarebo kosia i don't know who is ready for this oil i don't know who is ready but god is about to pour out the oil the bible says i'm going to take you to the scripture where it says god is about to pour out an oil that is going to never run dry your prayer life will never go down again your fasting life will never go down again the, the, the passion for the word of god will never go down again the passion and the zeal for the lord's presence will never go down again because the oil that is going to come this one don't run out this one don't stop flowing this one my if i see five persons in the comments saying i am ready i am ready i'm ready if i see i already see one if i see five persons saying i'm ready i am ready for this oil i am ready for this oil you can already feel his presence you can already feel that fire but if i see Mind they like I say five persons in the comments saying I am ready for that oil man of God. We will enter the world, my God, and your life will never be the same again. Madabra kelebo ko si kere manda abro ko si kere mondo o kore manda li kali mondo rabba kere kere mondo jabrangi nengelo mondo o kore mende de ke se mandari kalo mondo. I don't know if it's you or if it's your mother Maxine but I see the enemy plaguing you guys with with sickness with sickness with some sort of sickness it's like a, it's like I don't know but some sort of sickness I, I I I I command that sickness to leave your body I don't know money for her I don't know if it's you or if it's your mother it's either one of the two, one out of the two but it could be both of you guys but I command that sickness to go before we continue who 
is ready for this oil? Ah, yeah. My God, I'm fired up tonight. I feel the presence of God so mighty. Ah, yeah. Broco se brengere mundo o corre mende de que se. In the name of Jesus. Good. That, that, that spirit that was, was causing you to be sick for those three weeks. We cause that devil tonight in the name of Jesus. We cause that devil in the name of Jesus. And I command sickness to leave your body. I command your body to be healed completely. It is done. You're healed in Jesus' name. Mada broko she. Gena gil dorset. Gail Dorset, that wicked woman fighting your business. <laughs> that wicked woman fighting your business and your finances. I declare in this month of November, may my God, the God of my covenant, expose her. Aya Brokosia, expose her and bring her to shame. Now let us continue. Let us continue. The oil that never runs dry. The oil that never runs dry. I want you guys to turn your Bibles with me to the book of 2 Kings chapter 4. We're reading from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 4 and from verses 1. Madabra keleke le mundo. Oh my God. The anointing is so strong in this house. Aya brokosia. 2 Kings chapter 4 and we're reading from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 4. Ah, Romondo, Romondo, Dereke, Keremondo, Okoremen, Dereke, Se. I hope you guys are sharing this live stream, this particular live stream. Share, share, share. Tag your family members, tag your friends, tag your friends. Tag your, tag your, tag your neighbors. Ebranda, Ramando, Okoremen, Dereke, Se. Job, Roku, Sikilimondo, Okoraman, Dereke, Se. See you on Alfred. I see you in the realm of the spirit. You're watching these videos one after the other, and the Lord is increasing that fire on your life even now. Madabra kileboko okore mende de kese, jabra angine mundo okore mende de kese kere mundo. Second Kings chapter two and verses four. Ebranda, 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 Ebrakale mundo, jabra angine boko si kere mundo. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. My God, I see the angels of the Lord. I see the angels of the Lord. The angels of fire. They are here, they are here, they are here. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 4, The wife of a man, mm, The wife of a man from the company of the prophets, Meaning this man was a prophet, and he, and he died, and he, and, and he was cry, his wife was crying out. She cried out to Elijah, "Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that. Hi, you know that he, you know that he revered the Lord or he served the Lord, but now his creditor is coming to take my two sons as a slave. Meaning, a prophet died and he did not, he, he owed a man, he owed a, a rich man, and the man, because he wanted back his money, and the man was dead, he said, I'm going to take your two sons to serve me as slaves until I feel like if they serve me enough in the space of my money, in the space of my money. Now watch what is going on here. Verse 2. It says, Elisha repl replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Now we're talking on the topic of the oil that never runs dry. When God, when God is going to pour out his grace or pour out his oil upon your life, the first thing is going to use what you have in your hand, what you have directly in your house. So right now, 
you're looking at your situation and you're saying oh i need somebody else or i need somebody to lay their hands on me i need this i need that and god is saying you don't need what you think you need what you think you need you already have it but the only thing that that uh, yeah, 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 yeah. the only thing that 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 is causing you not yet to realize how, how how sufficient and how powerful it is is because it has not yet received the oil the oil because there's many of you God already placed something great inside of your house and you're running here there and everywhere and he is saying sit right there because you don't you don't need something else what you need is my oil to activate the grace that I've hidden inside ay, ay, ay. who am I speaking to because there's a lot of you there is greatness in side of your house but the only thing making it look normal is because it has not yet yeah 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 receive the oil to activate activate that thing which god has inside of your house tonight when that oil lands upon your house when that oil lands upon your family ah greatness will be activated greatness will be activated power will be activated the super supernatural will be activated i don't know who i'm speaking to but the prophet asked that woman what do you have in your house because i'm about to release a grace upon something you have in your house i am coming as the servant of god to somebody tonight what do you have in your house because i'm about to release an oil an oil a grace a prophetic unction upon somebody's house and if you catch it tonight it it will never run dry it will cause your business to multiply it will cause your ministry to expand it will cause peace in your home it will bring joy it will bring this word is not for everybody this word is for the persons who have something in your house now if your house is empty then this is not a live stream for you because the man of god said woman what do you have in your house i know you're going through i know you're going through a hard season i know you're going through a little struggle i know everything is not going right or as you planned but i have a oil and if you have something to to receive my oil if you have something to receive my oil that which looks impossible that which looks difficult when the oil comes upon it when the oil comes upon on it it will never run dry it will never run dry a strange supernatural miracle that is going to take place tonight is that some of you some of you are going to experience miracle money meaning your money that you have in your bank accounts it will start multiplying the money that you have in your hands it will start multiplying i am not joking people i let us continue reading the word let us let us continue reading the word he said Lamando. Elisha replied to her how can I help you she, he said tell me what do you have in your house the woman said your servant has nothing there at all she said except a small a small jar of oil <laughs> a small jar of oil now look at how this woman described her jar a small jar of oil meaning the oil is not the problem the size of the jar is the problem listen you don't have space for what God is about to release what was limiting her from receiving from the the prophet is that she had a small jar i am speaking to somebody tonight god has a mighty grace a mighty unction that is going to come upon you but if you are if you don't have the capacity 
capacity here if you don't have the capacity to receive it it is going to fall and it is going to look like God is doing a small miracle as I'm speaking you're feeling that grace already you're feeling that grace trying to force into your life because he's trying to show you you need capacity you need space I may look like a normal man I may look like a normal person but don't take this word lightly there is a grace on my life and God wants it to come upon some of you and he says if you don't have the capacity it is going to bounce upon you and then search for the person with the capacity but I'm looking for persons tonight who has the capacity to take up this unction that when you move you will move in the AII you will move in the realm of God you will speak things and they will come to pass you will see things before they they take place I told you this word is not for every Everybody, you, listen, not everybody will feel the presence of God tonight. But I'm speaking to the persons who can't even control themselves because the anointing is already moving. The grace is already looking for you. Who has the capacity? Who has the capacity? Who has the empty jars? Who have space? Ay, and the prophet is full of wisdom look what the man said in verse 3 he said Elijah said the Bible said go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars don't ask for just a few ask for a lot of jars meaning make make space make space give way because what God is about to pour out tell somebody I need space tell somebody I need space tell somebody I need space and oh, I when I when I used to go when I used to go to high school I had this friend when when we used to make jokes about money the guy used to say my problem is not money my problem is the rubber band to, to put around the money meaning ay, 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 ay. your problem tonight is not financial financial bondage your problem tonight is space to re receive the finances God wants to pour out your problem tonight for too long people have been testifying about God heal my headache God heal my back pain God heal my my my, my foot pain God, God God who are you serving the God who heals pains no <laughs> that is good praise we bless God for that but my God is greater than that my God is mightier than that my listen see out of this oil that is coming upon your life we're going to see mighty testimonies massive breakthroughs massive breakthroughs mantles are falling in the church once again the borers they are rising in the church once again for the kings to arise for the mantles return hey, ali, ali, oh. Whoa. <laughs> esters are rising in the church once again mordecai they are rising in the church once again joshua's are rising Yes, 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 yes. The man said, go and look for jars. Go, I'm speaking to some people. Right now, I want you to start praying. I want you to start praying. What the Spirit of God is doing in your life right now is provoking some persons to pray. For one minute, I want you to just pray in the spiritual realm. What God is doing is, is opening you up, he is cutting you up, he is parting you spreading you out in the realm of the spirit to make make room for what he is about to do he has given you capacity he has given you capacity he is giving you space pray for one minute Madabrangi 
Braca sekere mondo Ramanda reke tekele mondo Ekaramande leke tele mondo Okore mende reke seha Jadabro kosikili mondo Just pray, just pray You don't know what God is doing You just pray Manda reke tele boko sikili Ikaramande Jabrangele keke debo Esparo boko sebrengide mondo In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, verse 4, it says, Then go inside, then go inside and shut the door. Ah, after, after, after gathering these jars, after making space, then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour out the oil. Oh, I'm going to teach you how to pour in a few minutes. Pour out the oil into all the jars. And as each is filled, put it uh, <laughs> put it to one side. Meaning this, this grace, Sai Jabroko Sekelemondo. This grace is activated in the secret place. Meaning you don't uh, you don't go in front of the church with this one and put on a long, long white robe and act religious with this particular grace this grace is activated in the secret place you enter your room you enter your closet when everybody is sleeping don't disturb everybody in the house you say to yourself I am not a normal man I am not a normal woman but I'm changing things in this house I am changing things in this family you walk all over the house when everybody is sleeping madab you will be sleeping minding your own business and the spirit of God will wake you up way hours in the morning and he will say just pray just pray this is not the time to sleep this is the time to pray what he is doing what he is doing he is provoking you to pray because he is about to bring expansion he is about to bring multiplication. He is about you would be praying one night, rakate kere and then your, your 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 children will come home and say, "Mommy, remember I applied for a job for three years, and and I don't know what happened, but the people they are ringing down my phone, bothering me to come and take the job. They don't know what is happening. You are walking the other night, rakatakate." you have a visa document that is pending the visa the visa embassy they are holding up your document for three years you don't know what is going on the spirit of God is provoking you to pray you wake up that night and then they call you the next day come and collect your visa what happened the spirit of God Use the oil uh, that is coming upon your life tonight uh, to activate miracles. It is coming upon some of you tonight. It is coming upon some of you tonight in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible said uh, when the woman shut the door, she started pouring the oil into the jars and each as they are filled, she put it on the other side. Meaning uh, as, you, uh, as you obtain uh, a miracle from this oil that is coming upon your life you don't just spend time celebrating this miracle you go to the other one you go to the other one the minute God blesses you don't spend too much time celebrating go after the other one go after the other one you gotta be hungry I'm not saying be greedy I'm not saying be selfish I'm saying you gotta be hungry don't settle for one miracle one testimony because you testify today you are happy because God bless you with a car you relax with a car because God bless you with a business you relax with your business no this oil that is coming upon your life the more God bless you the more you will be provoked to pray the more God bless you the more he's going to bless you yes this is what he says I will ay, 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 ay. your cut 
waters will bring forth thousands and ten thousands. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Meaning in your house you will be blessed. In your workplace you will be blessed. While you're walking on the road you will be blessed. People will look at you. They will say what is going on in his life? What is going on in our life? Why is it everybody is so attached to her? Why is it everybody is so attached to him? But in your secret place they're going to look at you they're going to say why is it this young man is, 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 is connecting with people in other nations of the world how is it that everybody is calling his name how is it that everybody is calling her name you while they're while, while they're sleeping you're up at night uh, and in the realm of the spirit uh, you are making some giant steps uh, and in the realm of the spirit it means you're leaping to nations you're leaping to nations and then they see people from all the nations of the world calling you calling your name what is going on there while they're sleeping you're leaping you're leaping i want to i want to release this grace the now let me get to the part that most of you like this part you love this part so much nothing is wrong with this part that is why I'm going to it right now the Bible said she left him and shut the door behind her and shut the door behind her and her sons now stick a pin right there the Bible said she shut the door behind the prophet she shut the door and went inside meaning there are some situations you don't run to the prophet you don't run to the apostle there are some things you have to stay on the four arms of the altar and pray and intercede for for your own for your own family for your own family there are some things you don't call pastor you don't call apostle you don't call prophet you don't call evangelists there are some things god will put you through he wants you to be the intercessor he wants you to be the prayer warrior he wants you to pray your family through you don't call everybody all of the time oh i'm going through this nothing is wrong with asking for help but i'm telling you there are some seasons you're gonna find yourself in situations where god is depending on you to pray he's depending on you to fast he's depending on you to show is depending on you to worship is depending on you to scream is depending on you to move is depending on you to bring sacrifices to the altar there's some things people can do for you but there's some things you have to shut the door like that woman when you have the oil and keep pouring on the altar and keep pouring and pouring and pouring that is how you pour the oil while they are sleeping you are pouring while they are sleeping you are pouring you are pouring I'm I'm speaking to somebody who's ready to pour I'm speaking to somebody who's ready to pour I'm speaking to somebody who's ready to pour because when this oil is coming up is when this oil comes upon your life it will never run dry it will never run dry the fire of God is so oh my god oh my god Ramando. I want to continue reading but the Lord the fire is too intense oh my god Rabba de Keremondo Okuremenderekesea Ika Ramando Romondo Ramanda requeré mundo, y e caramanda ricalamando, e ramando. No, no, no. Many of you know this word is not a mistake. M many of you that will watch this video know to yourself, this word is not a mistake. Ayabra que se. It says, she shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the judge to her.
and she kept pouring and she kept pouring and she kept pouring meaning yeah 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 for this oil to work effectively you need some people to keep bringing jars you can't focus on jar and and and, and pouring you can't do everything by yourself this grace needs men this grace needs destiny helpers this grace needs burden bearers and divine connectors when this grace is on your life you will be too busy pouring oil upon the altar you will be too busy pouring out your spirit upon the altar pouring out the oil and and and, and, and it will take up a lot of time so you can't look for jars while you're pouring you can't look for empty jars or empty vessels i should say while you're pouring what am i talking about am i talking about a jar with olive oil no i'm speaking about the grace when God puts it upon your life, uh, He will send men, He will send destiny helpers, He will send people into your life uh, that will be empty. Those are the empty jars, uh, and the oil that is coming upon you, it is not for you alone, it is for the people that must be filled. Like I am going to fill you up with the oil tonight. When when you receive it, He is going to raise you, and then He is going to cause you to pray activate the oil and then he's going to send empty vessels to you so this oil is not for you you are just a carrier or a caretaker or a steward I should say of the grace of God the oil that never runs dry because the more you pour the more it will be restored the more you pour the more he's going to fill you up but if you keep it to yourself you will have all oil tell somebody you will have all oil and this is what is happening to a lot of you you keep being filled being filled and you're keeping that oil to yourself and is it is being it is turning all and it, yeah, 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 yeah. you know when you have oil for a very long time it spoils you can't use it anymore you have to throw it away this is what is happening to a lot of you because you're going to that revival this revival this this revival that revival and you're keeping the oil to yourself you you're not pouring it out into nobody else's life and it is getting spoiled and sooner or later just as you throw away spoiled oil God will have to throw you away this is what he said in the book of Revelation you are neither hot or cold you are neither hot or cold you are lukewarm I can't deal with lukewarm Christians so I will have to spew you out of my mouth like vomit this is what God said in the book of Revelations it is either you're hot or cold if you're cold all I will know what to do with you from there. I know I will have to increase your fire. But whenever he said, if you are lukewarm, you can't dwell. I can't use you. I can't use you. I can't use you to so tell somebody when you receive the oil tonight, you got to keep pouring. You got to keep pouring, finding empty vessels and pour. Let me just get some water mighty God the spirit of the living God <laughs> ah rabbi your family is filled with this oil go and look that brachia when everybody, when everybody filled, she said, go and bring me another, another vessel. Bring me another vessel. Ayabraka rimondo ukurimende. Bring me another vessel. Bring me another vessel. This is how determined you have to be. You gotta look for them. You gotta look for them. Don't say, oh God, this oil just, this oil just multiplying and I don't know what to do with it. Look for empty vessels. Fill them with that oil. The, ay, 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 ay. the more you fill them, the more he's going to pour out into your life. The more you fill them, the more he's going to pour out into your life. But he replied, there is not a jar left then the oil stopped 
<laughs> so you see when the oil would stop flowing when every vessel is filled when every vessel is filled ah then the oil will stop flowing so the grace that is coming upon your life ah it will never stop flowing i told you the oil that never runs dry is the topic for tonight because unless every vessel is filled my god i feel the grace of god so mighty i am unless every vessel in guyana is filled unless every vessel in south america is filled unless every vessel yeah 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 in north america is filled unless every vessel in africa is filled unless every vessel in the mundo in the russian federation is filled unless every vessel in central america is filled unless every vessel in the united kingdom is filled unless every vessel is filled tonight this oil will not stop flowing this oil will not stop flowing unless every vessel that watches this live stream is filled this oil on my life tell somebody this oil on my life will not stop flowing unless every vessel is filled every vessel in my community must be filled every vessel in my territory must be filled every vessel at my workplace in the schools in the businesses in the public sector in the private sector and when we finish we're going to the other religions every vessel every vessel tell somebody every vessel this oil locates them locates them locates them until they are filled we will not leave you to rest until you are filled with the anointing with the oil that never runs dry So you're gonna see me by your door like a Jehovah's Witness, or you're gonna see me on the live stream knocking upon your the doors of your heart like a Jehovah's Witness until you open and be filled. Unless you're not filled, you're gonna see me bothering you all of the time. Unless you are filled, you're gonna see me on these live streams all of the time. Unless you are filled, you're gonna always see Collie Sally Cock. Yes, making nice in Guyana, making nice unless you are filled I am not speaking to everybody tonight I'm speaking to the persons who are yet to be filled with this oil that never runs dry the spirit of the living God is here the spirit of the living God is about to enter somebody's life is about to shift things is about to shift things is about to shift things my God my God the woman with a headache that headache is gone <laughs> yeah just like that <laughs> verse 7 it says she went and told the man of god and said go and he said go sell the oil and pay your debts and your sons can live on what is left Ah, somebody didn't get that. The man said, Take this oil that you're filling these jars with. Sell it. Sell it. And pay your debts. And your sons, oh my God. Your sons can live on what is left. This thing can last for a lifetime. Somebody didn't get that. Oh my God, somebody didn't get that. Let me go over it a little more slow. I pray the Lord opens your understanding tonight. He said, go and sell from, the, from what you have. And your children, 
ah, this thing is flowing to your children, and you're saying it will last them for a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you are too small for what God is about to release. It is going to overflow to your children. It is going to overflow to their children's children. This You see, when God blesses you, He don't bless you. He says from what is left back after you sell the oil ah uh, I'm not saying you sell the anointing of God I'm saying uh, when this oil is flowing in your life money will come ah ikare mondo somebody understand what I mean I'm saying uh, when this oil is flowing in your life it will attract wealth it will attract favor it will attract the blessing of the Lord it will attract finances it will attract prosperity and you're saying uh, whatever you leave back it can last your children uh, for their entire life so just imagine your sons meaning your children ain't even getting the old thing or the real deal they're just getting from what left back when you're done selling it when you're done pouring it out meaning when you tend to other person's need god will provide for your children he said don't focus on your house first focus on somebody outside focus on the vessels that are to be filled and as you're filling them i am going to feed your children i am going to feed your sons i am going to supply all of your need i am going to provide for your children there are many of you you're going through a lot in this season and you have something in your hands and god is saying as i pour this oil on your life tonight and that thing begins to multiply don't look at your own need focus on somebody that i'm leading you to if god blesses you tonight and he says take half of this money and go and give that man on the road or go and give that woman on the road i tell you if you dare god and you do what he say you're gonna be surprised to see what i'm looking for some some crazy Christians, some Christians with crazy faith tonight, some Christians with crazy faith tonight, who is ready uh, to walk and take some steps into the depths of the sea, take some step, steps into the depths, you may not know, You will, listen, when God is about to test your faith, you will not be sure, you will not know whether it will happen or not, but if God bless blesses somebody tonight uh, and he says take this money and you see that woman you're you're seeing there give her everything i'm telling you i dare some of you tonight give that portion everything and watch what god listen i am talking from experience i am talking from experience oh my god oh my god Who's ready for the oil? Who is ready for the oil? Who's ready for the oil? My God. My God. Rabba de kere mundo. Obra kile boku si kere manda. Who is ready for this oil? Give for everything. I tell you, I dear some of you tonight. Rabba de Kerebo Sikelemondo Abra de Karamando. I hope you guys are sharing this. I hope you guys are tagging your family members to this. Oh my god. Helamanda Rabba. Ikaramanda Ramando. If I see 50 
unclean person saying, man of God, I am ready for this oil. I am ready. I am ready to be filled. I am ready to be filled. I am ready to be filled. Ebrangi ne kele mundo o koramande re keseya ikaramando romundo. My God is gonna come upon you so mighty, so mighty. We're only forty. Let me see how long we're here. We're only fifty minutes in, or forty-nine minutes in on the live stream. And my God, the presence of God is so mighty. God, 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 God. My father, my father, my papa, my daddy, my daddy. Your baby is speaking. I'm speaking to my father tonight, and I pray for each and every one of you. Ah, before I pray, before I pray, you are here. You've not yet surrendered to the Lord Jesus, or for some reason your relationship with God is not in the right place. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life unto you. Wash me with your precious blood. Fill me with your spirit. I am saved. I am translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light unto God's dear Son. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You pray that prayer, you're now a child of God. Now I pray for you. I pray for you. Before I pray, what is going to happen to you? I'm telling you, and then you're going to conform and tell me how you're feeling. Many of you are going to start speaking in tongues for the first time. Some of you are going to start speaking in tongues uncontrollably. You can't control it. Some of you, your body is going to shake rapidly. Some of you, you're gonna you're gonna just knock out. Some of you are gonna feel that peace. You're gonna feel that electricity going through your body. So as I tell you it, I'm now gonna pray. I pray for each and every one of you that surrender to the Lord just now. <clears throat> that oil, that oil, <clears throat> that oil. Ah, mando robo ko sekere mandari kalamando. That oil that never runs dry. Ah, that oil that never runs dry. That oil that never runs dry. Receive it now. <clears throat> Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, I release the oil. I release the oil, the oil that never runs dry, the oil that never runs dry. Be filled, be filled, be filled. Mato romondo okoramande rekese. Be filled in the name of Jesus. Be filled in the name of Jesus. Be filled in the name of Jesus. Be filled right now, right now. Rabba de kere brongo romondo, e karamanda ri kalamando. I release it into your home. I release it into your marriage. <clears throat> I release it right now into your children's life. I release that oil, that oil that never runs dry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Rabadi kele mundo, ukuramanda rikalamando, ebrakale kore mendere kese. Candy, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, <clears throat> by this oil of, by this oil that never runs dry. Begin to expand, begin to increase, begin to spread, begin to multiply. Let everything you put your hands to do multiply. Let everything you put your hands to do increase. In the name of Jesus. 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 There are three persons watching right now. <laughs> three persons watching right now. 
a witch astral projected into your house. A witch, three persons watching right now. You are cooking or cleaning the house and you could feel the presence of somebody else right there. Right there. You are alone physically there in the house. But a witch astral projected and was monitoring you whilst you were doing your chores. Three persons, I want to pray for you. If you are one of that three, just say, man of God, it's me. Or it, it's me or me or something like that. Just identify yourself. Three persons, three persons you're watching right now, a witch astral projected in your house to curse that family. And I wanted to let that witch know that there is a God by the name of Jehovah Gabor. <laughs> you are doing your chores and you could feel that presence of somebody you could feel you could feel when you look back you're not seeing anybody good good i see the tree i see the tree you people think i'm joking here you people think i came on this live stream to to, to make a lot of noise or to joke i'm speaking to those three persons i'm calling out your name for a reason j j j <clears throat> Or I'm not even calling your name. I whoever you are, even if it is more than three, every witch, every witch that astral projected and entered your house and cursed you. I read, I read in Ecclesiastes, uh, you dig the pit shall fall into it, you cleave it, what shall be endangered thereby, you do not live by the sword, so you must not die by the sword, I command that pit to swallow them up now, in the name of Jesus, I command those pits to swallow them up now, in the name of Jesus. The man, the man Haman, he built a gallows, a tall gallows. That thing that you, that thing that you hang people in, hang, used to hang persons. And he said, this gallows, I'm building it for Mordecai. Mordecai is the servant of the Lord. And the Bible said, the Lord turned everything around. And the same gallows that Mordecai built to hang, that, that Haman built to, to hang Mordecai, was used to hang him i prophesy tonight whatever they are using to hang you whatever they're billing to hang you or to take your life it will be used to hang them it will be used to take their own life we declare tonight by this oil that never runs dry may every witchcraft they have released in your houses in your families in your homes in your business be destroyed be broken be scattered in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray a very prophetic prayer. Very prophetic prayer. Most of you might not understand what I'm doing here, but for the persons who are aware in the spirit, you can receive. I command the wind. <clears throat> I command the wind. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall blow on every territory that they are watching from tonight. You will gather the words of every curse released against our lives. Oh, you will gather. The, I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the wind. You will gather the words of every curse they've released in the atmosphere. Whatever the words created, I command you to gather each and every one of them. 
gather them up from the atmosphere and blow them down in the mouth of the witch let them swallow their own courses tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm not speaking to you I said uh, I'm speaking to the wind uh, I'm prophesying to the wind uh, the northern wind uh, the southern wind uh, the eastern wind uh, and the western wind it goes to every territory wherever you're watching from tonight in the name of Jesus 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 it gathers the words of witches it gathers the words of warlocks it gathers the words of sorcerers it gathers every idle word that was released against our lives and our families tonight and it blows them back in the mouth of the witches tonight i declare they swallow their curses they swallow their enchantments they swallow their curses they swallow their enchantments down in their bellies down in their bellies the word of god says out of your belly shall flow living water but i declare tonight every curse that the witches have spoken they shall swallow it up in their own belly tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and the Lord took me by the eyes of the spirit and he showed me how witches gather around this big pot they call it a cauldron and they put your photograph in there and they put your clothing in there and they put your name in there using those things as a point of contact and they go around that pot in their demonic covens in their witchcraft groups they march around that pot and they are there all night enchanting oh sherry let sherry die let sherry reach in an accident let this and so happen to Sherry and so and so and you wake up you went to bed feeling all right and you wake up with a curse you don't even know where it come from some witch going wrong their cauldron enchanting but I hear the Lord said break that pot I don't know who I'm speaking to but I hear the Lord said break that pot but uh, say any witch I, I i listen this video is not for everybody if you realize you joined this live stream and it didn't even get nothing to speaking about you leave the live stream because i'm speaking to the persons who god led me to speak to good say any witch boiling my, uh, sorry sorry say every pot boiling my destiny break and fall into the fire I broke sick if somebody would pray this prayer any pot every witchcraft pot boiling my destiny break and fall into the fire break I, I declare tonight as a servant of God every pot boiling my destiny boiling the destiny of my family boiling the destiny of rise up ambassadors of Jesus Christ boiling the destiny of the serve of the people of God God, we declare those pots break and fall into the fire now in the name of Jesus I told you guys on that live stream I told you guys on that live stream two days back about that wicked wizard that was doing voodoo against my mother. The woman opened her business every day and nothing is selling. The business is going slow. Not knowing this wicked wizard on the other side, he was practicing voodoo. The man had a dolly, a, a demonic doll 
in the roof in a ceiling uh, and he was there burning incense and enchanting against that or my mother's business uh, and she came home the day and she said this man is wicked ever since this man started burning this thing nobody am buying this ain't happening and I said all right now we know our target meaning when the oil is upon your life uh, and the enemy is attacking you the oil will locate them we already we already yeah 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 we already read the scripture that that was that was speaking about this the oil will locate them so uh, I entered my room ay, 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 ay. and by the oil uh, by the oil that never runs dry uh, I was pouring uh, and I was pouring uh, and I was pouring my mother went to work the next day my mother went to open her business the next day she said son the man climbed up to his ceiling he pulled down the voodoo doll he placed it in a bag he shut his business and he said I'm fed up of this thing I'm fed up I'm fed up he called a woman on the phone and said I going to burn this doll I going to get rid of this thing because it ain't doing nothing good for me it only bringing trouble because I want you to know uh, yeah 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 the, the, the doll the purpose of that demonic doll was not to attract trouble but when you touch the anointed of God yeah 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 the only thing you will attract is trouble because you don't touch the Lord's anointed and think everything will go right with your life my mother said uh, that man climbed up in his ceiling took down the voodoo doll and ran closed his shop closed his business and ran home and ran home ay, ay, ay. I declare tonight any hidden witch around your life around your family by this oil that never runs dry they shall be exposed and they shall be brought to shame they shall be exposed and they shall be brought to shame in the name of Jesus 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 you shall be blessed in the city you shall be blessed in the field you shall be blessed going out you shall be blessed coming in you shall be blessed in the name of Jesus the blessing of the Lord all I'm gonna do now is declare the word of God over your life all you guys have to do is receive the blessing of the Lord is upon you and your family for good you are blessed and not cursed. you shall live and not die you will lend to nations and you will have to borrow from none you shall flourish like a palm tree you shall grow like the cedars in Lebanon you will you will lend to nations you will borrow from none in the name of Jesus your cattles will bring forth thousands and ten thousands you will never lack you will never beg for bread may you enter realms of over Overflow. I declare the oil that comes upon your head tonight overflows to your children's children. It is a generational blessing. I speak to your blood right now. Be free from every curse. Blood, you are free from every curse. And I impart the oil into your blood. The oil of blessings. I, 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 I. There's some of you, you are in the dream and the witch just put a demonic mark upon you you're like Ichabod meaning the glory of the Lord has left your house the glory of the Lord has left your life and your family it means the only thing the only thing that is being attracted to you is disfavor is dishonor is hardship is poverty because the Bible said he anointed my head with 
oil, my cup runs over. Meaning, your cup will run over, determining by the anointing that is upon your life. So your cup only runs over when the right anointing is upon your, your head. So what is upon your head determines how you will prosper. And for some of you, you don't have the oil of, you don't have the oil of God. You have a demonic oil. You have a demonic mark. They have marked you for failure. They have marked you for destruction. They have marked you for, for dishonor. They have marked you for disfavor. And tonight, 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 I remove that mark. I remove every witchcraft mark from your life. I remove every witchcraft mark from your family. I remove every witchcraft mark from your household. I remove every witchcraft mark from even my life and my own family and my household. I declare tonight by the le legal blood of Jesus, every mark that is not the mark of Jesus Christ, be cleansed, be washed, be removed by the legal blood of Jesus. And the word of God says, let no man trouble me for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus. I put upon my body the mark of Jesus. Somebody say, I put upon my body the mark of Jesus. I put upon you the mark of honor, the mark of blessings, the mark of favor, the mark of increase, the the mark of influence and visibility. The mark. The mark of Jesus. I mark your right ear with the blood of Jesus. I mark your right thumb with the blood of Jesus. I mark your right toe. Your big toe. With the blood of Jesus. I declare tonight. I declare tonight. You are marked with the blood of Jesus. Madoro Monde. I am marked with the blood of Jesus. Let no man trouble me. I bear on my body the mark of Jesus. Rabba de kere mundo, o coramante de kere mundo, e bracate reboko si kere mundo. And the Bible said, when the people of Israel were in Egypt. And God wanted to kill the firstborns. He said, take this blood. Uh, kill the lamb. Kill the lamb. Kill the lamb. Put the blood on your doorpost. Put the blood on your doorpost. Put the blood on your doorpost. And when the angel of death passes through, he will see that somebody already died for you. So you cannot die. Meaning, nobody inside of that house which the doorpost was marked with the blood cannot die. That blood of the lamb that they killed in the Old Testament was sim was symbolic to the blood of the Lamb who was slain before the foundations of the world. His name is Jesus, and I declare tonight: I put the mark of the blood of Jesus upon each and every of your household. Therefore, the mark of Jesus is also upon my household, and therefore, therefore, nobody in that house shall die before their appointed time you shall not die not by accident not by witchcraft not by centeria not by white magic not by white black magic not by occultism not by voodoo no way you shall not die tell somebody i will not die because my house is marked with the blood of jesus i will not die i will not die i will not die there was a witch she told me she she, she, she told me in the spiritual realm that I will die. I said, hey, you, are you sure you're speaking to the right person? What I did, I did not I did not cause that witch to die. I used the same pit of death that she dug for me. That she dug for me. Many of you might not like this, but this is the will of God. She, I used the same pit 
pit of death that she talked for me in the realm of the spirit and I said you pit of death swallow that witch you swallow that witch the same witch that said I will die she is dead I want you to know I want you to know any witch any wizard digging a pit of death for you digging a pit of death for your family digging a pit of death for your loved ones we command those pits of death to swallow them we command those pits of death to swallow them in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Madoro mundo o coremende de que sea y caramando raba de que de que mundo e braca te que le mundo o coremende de que sea haya oh oh my god there's some of them they said to you over their dead body you will not prosper this is what they did to Paul the Bible said four men gathered and they vowed four people they gathered and they vowed a group of people they gathered and they vowed they will not eat bread and drink wine or water until Paul is dead there are some people in the realm of the spirit you think Christians alone fast which is they fast and the Bible said they fasted and they said we will not eat Eat food until you the apostle Paul is dead the Bible said they are still waiting on uh, yeah they waited and waited and waited and the man never died I want you to prophesy to somebody since they are saying over their dead bodies uh, yeah, 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 yeah. you will not prosper if they must die for you to prosper then let thy will be done oh God if they must die for you to prosper then thy will be done in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the man apostle Paul was shipwrecked and he came to that island there and he was trying to put this fire together he saw some old sticks to sell somebody he saw some old sticks gathered and he put these sticks together and he tried to light the fire and as he lit that fire a snake was there all of the time but the fire was too much and the snake was the snake could not handle the fire so it bit the apostle Paul it got exposed it got exposed I pray for somebody today that every snake that is under every snake that is up under you every snake that is coiling around your destiny every snake I'm not speaking about spiritual snakes I'm speaking about man and woman who are conniving and deceitful and they are witches in disguise every snake coiling around your destiny as the fire of God increases tonight they shall be exposed they shall be exposed now in the name of Jesus some of them you will call them they will not pick the phone some of them you will call them to find out what is wrong with them they will not pick your calls why they are being exposed they are being exposed some of them you will never see them back ever again you will pass them on the road you will say hi what is going on how are you they will pass you straight what is going on they're being exposed tell somebody they're being exposed they can't handle the fire they can't handle the fire I pray that God increases your fire to a level whereby every snake shall be exposed shall be exposed shall be exposed amato roko sikele mando rakate kele mando there's a grace on my life it is hard for somebody to pretend around me it is whether you love me or hate me you can't pretend around me because the grace will provoke you to the grace will provoke you to show what you're hiding on the inside many of you know what I'm talking about it is coming upon 15 persons they
can't hide anymore. They can't hide their deceitfulness anymore. They can't hide their, 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 their deception anymore. It is coming upon 15 persons. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. It is either you love me or you hate me. You can't pretend when you're around me. It will provoke you to speak. It will provoke you to lash out. It will provoke for too long snakes have been gathered around the people of God. I declare tonight they shall be exposed in the name of Jesus. 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 Rabade rebo kure mendere kerebo. Shikere mandala la bai. Ikaramando. Eramando. Romondo roboko shikere mundo. I declare financial breakthroughs financial breakthroughs in this season the word of god says you shall lay up gold as dust before i continue declaring the word of god i see 50 persons on this live stream i want each and every one of you make it your duty right now to share 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 each and every one of you share this live stream right now share 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 because these declarations are going to share shift and propel your life to the next level so share to somebody share to some group share to some page share to your story share right now each and every one of you share 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 this video right now in the name of jesus madoro mondo okore mendere rebokosi jikaramando you shall lay up gold as dust you shall lay up gold as dust you shall flourish like a palm tree let me explain what i mean when you're flourishing like a palm tree when the breeze when the breeze is blowing hard on a palm tree it's flexible it's flexible so it bends and when it looks like it 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 will break it comes up back again it bends so they will attack you with gossip you will bend and you will rise again they will attack you with slander you will bend and you will rise again they will attack you with witchcraft you will bend and you will rise again they will attack you the bible did not say no weapon will not prosper he said when they when they when when they when they, when, they, when they form against you they will not prosper he did not say it will not form so they will try they will attack they will send their threats they will send their speech they will send their attacks in the realm of the spirit but the bible said you will bend like a, a palm tree you will flourish like a palm tree you will bend and the minute it looks like if uh, madoro that they can say the minute it looks like if you will not rise again you will rise again you will rise again you will rise again the bible said the righteous man fall it seven times and rise it up back again but the wicked fall it into destruction stephen sherman i command that sickness to go now in jesus name now I pray for your daughter Neva, whatever it is, we declare it is done, it is over, it is settled, she's free, now in Jesus mighty name. Now can I flow, can I prophesy, can I do what I was born to do? <laughs> ah! Rebe kere mundo, eramanda rabadi kere mundo, ikarabadi karamando. You will flourish like a palm tree. The minute it looks like if you're going to fail, you will rise again. They will attack your business. Let me tell you something. And you will rise again. You will rise again. You will rise again. 
I just saw something very strange in the realm of the spirit. My God. Well, before I pray this prayer, I want you guys to hold on to something. Because for the persons whom it is concerned, you're going to feel this wind. A mighty wind coming upon your, your life. Because God is about to breathe his breath into your situation. I saw a dead man walking out of the grave and walking out of the graveyard and I said Lord what does this mean what does this mean why are you showing me a dead man walking out of the grave and out of the graveyard and he said do you remember that story when I took the prophet Ezekiel to a valley of dry bones and I said yes my Lord and he said to me he said now prophesy son of God to those dry bones in the life of my people to come back to life I don't know what is dying in your life some of you your marriage is dying some of you your business is dying some of you your career is dying and I want to raise those things back to life that which is dead that which is dead I call it forth from the regions of the dead I command the regions of death hear the word of the Lord vomit it vomit it now I command your marriage to rise from the grave I command your business I call that dying business I yeah 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 from the grave I call that I, I, your relationship with God your walk with God thank you very much Ezekiel chapter 37 your walk with God I call it forth from the grave my God Carita Brown a mighty unction is coming upon your life right now that which is dead comes forth in the name of Jesus J'adore mende de que se everything that was stolen from you and taken to the regions of the grave we command the graves to vomit it up vomit it up my God, if you guys can see what I'm seeing in the spiritual realm, you would start celebrating because I see this big snake vomiting blessings, vomiting gold and jewelries and diamonds and precious, precious stones. I see this big snake and the Lord took me to this scripture in the book of Job when he was commanding Satan to spit it out, cough it up and let it go. Right now, I want to spit speak ah, yeah, 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 yeah. to that devil that was stealing from you that was swallowing up your blessing that was swallowing up your glory that was swallowing up your, your, your stars I command you hear the word of the Lord tonight you will spit it out devil you will cough it up and you will let it go in the name of Jesus you will spit it out you will cough it up and you will let it go in the name of Jesus in the book of when God calling for abundance out of the good 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 we're back we're back we're back don't go anywhere we're back the internet was just giving us a little problem I command it to be vomited spit it out cough it up and let it go let it go let it go right now right now in the name of Jesus 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 the topic for tonight is the oil that never runs dry remember when that woman was pouring she shut the door so as one of the things that will happen to many of you tonight God will provoke you to pray he will take you in the secret place and you are going to pray I'm not saying you're going to go and act religious with those long white robes you're going to shut the door and you're going to pour 
pour out your oil. You're going to pour out your oil. You're going to pour out your oil. And the next thing she did, she shut the door to the prophet. Meaning, there are some things God will not use the prophet to shift. God will not use the apostle to shift. He wants you to pour at Activate that grace by pouring in the spirit, by interceding in the spirit. Activate it in your secret place. Manda re kere mondo re mende re kesea. Ikaramando romondo re keteli mondo okure manda la kaso. Jebra kili kere mondo and then keep pouring, keep pouring in fire, fire in jars and keep pouring. And keep pouring. I want to pray a prayer of restoration. The Lord said, the word of God said, when you find the thief, he must not only restore what he stole from you, but he must return everything sevenfold. I don't know what the enemy stole from you guys. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe it's your peace. Maybe it's your joy. But I declare as the servant of God tonight, let there be a sevenfold restoration now in the name of of Jesus let there be a sevenfold restoration let there be a sevenfold restoration sevenfold sevenfold in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus madure be kerebo kuremanda akaramande rabade keremondo Eramando Robocosia. In the book of Isaiah, the word of God says, They shall surely gather. But as long as the gathering is not of me, they shall be scattered or they shall be separated. I don't know who is gathered against you. I don't even know who is gathered against me. But I pray tonight by the, I pray to the God of my covenant, whoever is gathered, whoever is gathered by the mercies of God, they shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Whoever is gathered, Makoramondo Roko Sekele Mondo, gather yourself together. You shall come to nothing. Speak the word and you shall be annihilated. Position yourself from the regions of the sea. The Lord will bring you low. Ah, Ikare Mondo, for God is with us. I am prophesying to some things in the realm of the spirit. I'm not speaking to you, I'm speaking to some spiritual things uh, and dealing with some things in the realm of the spirit gather yourself together you shall come to nothing speak the word and you shall be annihilated position yourself from the regions of the sea and the Lord our God will bring you down low uh, I say it again uh, I say it again uh, you shall gather yourself together you will come to nothing Nothing. You will speak the word and you will be annihilated when you position yourself from the regions of the sea. The Lord will bring you down low. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For God is with us. For God is with us. You shall gather yourself together. You will come to nothing. You will speak the word, you will be annihilated. You will position yourself from the regions of the sea, and the Lord will bring you down to nothing. Madoro mundo robocosia. Ekaramando. Rabade ketere mundo. Ekaramando. Rabande de kekere mundo. Ikaramanda rebocosia. Ebrakate Ramando Okore Bekelimondo Rabangire Kelimong Okore Kelemanda Arebokosi Ekaramando. I hope you guys are sharing. Share this live stream. You can support this channel by sharing this live stream. Like the videos, comment so that other persons can join and receive from the Lord. Madoro boko si kele manda 
abrondo, abrondo, abrondo. Don't be afraid to put a, a like emoji there and share, 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 share. Madoro boko sea, ikaramando, ikaradali ramanda akarebo se. Pray, 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 pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Madore be kele mundo, abra de le kele mundo. You see, the names of God are dimensions of God. Meaning, when you hear Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Gebor, they are all dimensions of God. So when you call on a particular name, you will see him move in a particular dimension. Now, there's a way, there's a way God can use the name of a man and whatever God did in that man's life, when you call on the God of that man, he will move in the same way. That is why in the Bible you will see the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Ah, yeah, Brondo Romonde. There's a reason why I'm saying this because God reveals his dimensions in name, in his name, in his name. No, this, this is not for everybody. I'm talking about my personal encounter with this name that I'm about to reveal to you. The Lord showed me some scriptures and He showed me how. He showed me how Ananias and Sapphira brought that lie before right light before Peter and the Spirit of God and they dropped dead on spot and they dropped dead on spot and then he led me to the scripture when a man when a man built a gallows built a gallows to hang Mordecai I'm getting somewhere and the same gallows was used to hang him and then he led me to another scripture when the Pharaoh and his and, and his and his soldiers were pursuing God's people and the, the, the sea swallowed them up and I said this God is serious God you love to kill our enemies and I started laughing and he said call me Jehovah the Mafia Ah, many people will not un understand this. It is only I who understands this. But many will understand it after tonight. Because any witch, let me tell you something. Any witch, any wizard, any warlock, any sorcerer, any soothsayer, I pray by, by the mercy of God it is not your family members because anybody practicing witchcraft and hindering the will of God in your life, in my life, may Jehovah the Mafia visit them. May Jehovah the Mafia. I call upon my God Jehovah the Mafia this dimension he don't come for you to repent when he shows up in this dimension he is there to take person's life he is there to remove you off of the face of the earth I call upon Jehovah the Mafia any witch that is risen against my life any witch that is risen against my family any witch that is risen against any one of the servants of God that is watching this video ah, and your family and your business and your ministry may Jehovah the Mafia visit them visit them visit them visit them in the name of Jesus Madoro Boko Sea Icaramando Elamanda Lekeremondo Ebrati Keremondo and when I understood this I started whining my enemies I started telling them don't mess with me I am 
begging you for your own good and the good of your family don't mess with me oh the witch go and curse somebody else please don't curse call it Sally Cook it is not that I'm afraid of you I'm afraid of what my God will do to you I am more fearful for you than you yourself don't mess with me some of you better tell some witches don't mess with you because my God Jehovah the mafia will visit you I started telling them don't mess with me oh witch oh wizard this is not your ideal person to curse curse somebody else speak against somebody else because when Jehovah the mafia sees what you're doing I can't even help you he will remove you Eramando. So when I'm telling my enemies, don't mess with me, it is not pride. I am warning them. I'm warning them because I, I know my God. I listen, they are many witches that tried it. They are under the earth today. Many witches that tried it. They are smelling daisy right now as we're speaking. This is not no joke. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with my family. Don't mess with the people of God that God assigned me to. Because you will see Jehovah the Mafia visiting you in one of your dreams. And that will be your last dream. <laughs> so if you're witching and like continue dreaming, don't curse nobody that God connect me to. Madari ke le mundo, ibrandi de ke le mundo, rabad de ke re ke le mundo, ibradali karama. I'm going to pray a prayer for you that is going to cause every man that sees your face to favor you every woman that sees your face every business on the ground every help every ministry on the ground must favor you let us go to job chapter 5 and verses 19 my god job chapter 5 and verses 19 mado broko sekele mundo okoramande Elamando, 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 Job chapter 5 and verses 19. Ibra Kariba di Lamando, Rabangele Kelemundo, Okuramande de Kesea. The word of God says in Job chapter 5. I don't know if somebody can put it in the comment section there. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. For six things he will deliver you. In seven, no arm shall touch you. In famine, he will deliver you from death. And in battle from the stroke of the sword, you will be protected from the scourging tongues of men. Meaning anybody that tries to curse you, he will protect you. And you will not be afraid of the destruction when it comes. You will laugh at destruction. Mm. you will laugh at destruction and famine and need not fear of the beast of the field of the beast of the field we're going to verse 23 for you will have a covenant with the stones of the field and all the wild animals will be at peace with you in other words it says you will be in league i will make a covenant with the earth and your destiny that you will have peace wherever you go whether you travel to america there must be peace whether you travel to china there must be peace whether you travel to asia there must be peace as long as you're in 
contact with the earth and as long as Yelamando, you're walking upon the face of the earth everybody that sees your face they must be compelled to favor you whether they feel like it or not there's a covenant an agreement God made with his children's destiny the only reason you've not experiencing it is because you didn't know what I'm telling you now it is the word of God you've read this scripture before but you didn't see what I'm showing you right now many of you read this scripture before he said I will make you in league in oneness with the stones of the field ah, yeah, 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 yeah wherever you go people will favor you wherever you go people will honor you wherever you go they will be compelled to bless you I want you to pray this prayer I want you to do a very prophetic thing wherever you're watching from I want you to remove your footwear if you have on your bedroom slipper or sandals or something just plant your feet on the ground I am not saying go outside and stand in the yard or in your compound I'm saying right in your room or in your kitchen or wherever you're watching from just ensure that your feet is planted upon the ground now speak to the earth say oh earth hear the word of the Lord I am in league with you I am in covenant with you there's a covenant of peace with my destiny and the earth and I declare as of today and onward wherever I go anyone that comes in contact with my face must favor me I command every business on the ground to favor me I command every destiny helper on the ground to favor me in the name of Jesus every man every woman every child that that comes in contact with the earth they will be attracted and compelled to favor me now say I want you guys to stand the only reason I'm sit I will be sitting is because of how I set up the live stream but I want you guys to stand I will stand in the spiritual realm but I want you to stand and pray this prayer well, as you're praying this prayer I want you to walk around in your house just walk just take some steps and say as I walk upon the ground the same way the earth is beneath my feet I command hardship go back under my feet now I command poverty go back under my feet now I command sickness go back under my feet now I command witchcraft go back under my feet now I command sentence area to go back under my feet now I command white magic black magic or be a voodoo whatever they call it in your country go back under my feet now and I declare as I walk upon this earth wherever I go I will attract blessings and not cursings I will attract increase and favor in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now say O earth hear the word of the Lord every element of creation that operates in you you are working for my good you are working for my good in the name of Jesus amen amen some of you by even tomorrow even while you wake up in the morning tomorrow you're gonna message me you're gonna bother me all day you're gonna say man of God this person called me this person want to do this this yes favor everywhere you go there is not one place I go and I don't see the favor of God not one one the minute I go somewhere and I don't experience favor I go back in my secret place and I fix it and I come out back <laughs> everywhere you go every this is not no joke why would I come on a live stream for hours and speak to some strangers I, I never even met some of you some of you are in countries not some of you are not even in Guyana why would I do this everywhere you go 
men will favor you women will favor you the bible said strangers will feed your flock people you don't even know will favor you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now I want you guys to do something I will not call you your name I will not call your name unless God leads me to you but I want you to start commenting your countries wherever you're watching from and I'm going to prophetically declare that the Lord opens you up to that country gives you access to the blessings and the wealth of that country just start commenting your country wherever you're watching from wherever you're watching from good even if I don't call you out I'm gonna speak to everybody in general I'm seeing USA, Guyana. A lot of persons from the USA and Guyana. Madore bede kele mundo. Ilamando ukore bede kele mundo. Shabra de le kele mundo. Shabro kese. Ikaramande. 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 Rabba de le kele mundo. Rebecca Lemundo, I'm giving you guys a little time just to comment your country before I pray. Madoro Bokose, Jamaica. Good, good, good. I was looking for Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica is on tonight. Madore Beke Lemundo, Radale Kelemundo, Ikarabadi Kelemundo, Zekelebai, Ilamando, Rabale Kelemundo. You're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh, you're the God who opens doors no man can shut, you're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh, you're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, is there? No one like you. No one like you, Abba Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus for every country that you've commented wherever you're watching from i decree and declare the word of god in psalms 24 and verses 7 lift up your head O ye gates be lifted you everlasting doors that the king of glory will come in who is this king of glory the lord of hosts the lord strong and mighty i declare ever in the name of Jesus the doors that will give you access to the wealth of your country the doors that will give you access to blessings and not cursings be open now be open now I command the gates of those territories to swing open I command the gates of those territories to swing open we break them down by the inches you alone will not pass through your children's children will pass through these gates I declare in the name of Jesus doors of favor be open now doors of increase be open now doors of access be open Open now doors to the next level of your destiny be open now doors of influence and visibility be open now you have a business doors of expansion to your business be open now Efata, Efata, Efata. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus. Mado rebe de kele mundo, ikaramando, ebrande de kele bore mende de kese. You are here, you're watching tonight, and you're looking for a job. You're looking for a job. A girl messaged me a couple days back, and she was saying, Man of God, I was watching the live stream. Can I tell you my problem? Can I tell you my story? I want to tell you my story. I feel like I should open up and tell you my story. I said, wait, do not tell me your story. The Lord already showed me your story. And as I was telling the girl what, what is going on in her life, she was saying, oh my God, how did you know this? And I said, the God that loves you revealed it to me. And I was saying to her, I was saying to her, I said, I declare that the Lord will open doors for you because of what she was going through. She was looking for jobs and all of these things. I said, I declare the Lord will open a door for you. And <laughs> in less than one day, you will have a job. The girl called me the following day. She said, man of God, you, you, you. You sent a message. I didn't call her. So I want you to know many of you, you love to call me on the phone. I don't have to call you for you to receive from God. I sent her a simple message. I typed it there and I said, I command those doors to be open. And that girl received it by faith. The next day, she's working up to today. She's working. She has that job. Now, I'm speaking to some persons. You need a job like tomorrow. I'm not saying next week. I'm not saying later down in the week. I'm saying that you need a call. You need a job like tomorrow. Tomorrow. And, and, and I'm, I'm praying for those persons. I'm speaking to those persons right now. You're watching right now. You need a job like tomorrow. Or you know somebody that is jobless and they need a job. I command doors to be opened by the mercies of God. He said, I hold the keys of David to open doors that no man can shut. And to shut doors that no man can open. I declare. I declare Soraya Rochelle that job, that particular job you're applying for I speak a fata I command the door to be opened by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow they will contact you by this time tomorrow Ayabro the prophet of God said by this time tomorrow a man will come selling food at a low price selling food cheaply I pray for some persons by this time tomorrow you're looking for a job may God open up the windows of heaven and connect you with people that will give you those jobs in the name of Jesus a honest worker we declare mercy by the mercy of God right now the Lord will send that honest worker to you in the right season Joy Anderson we declare by this time tomorrow the job for your daughter in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I'm not the type of person who limits God. Who limits God to say, Oh, man, when God ready, you can do it. God ready when we ready. I ready now, so God is ready now. By this time tomorrow. We declare that... Wait, 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 wait. Sonia Porter, the Lord said that don't need prayer. The reason why you're, you're working or your husband is working and he's not seeing anything from his money is because he is not obeying a spiritual law. 
is disobeying the word of God. So that is not being caused because some witch is cursing you or somebody fighting you or no. You're disobeying, you guys are disobeying something. And he said in, I, I think it's Malachi 3, 11, Bring ye the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. Pour me now here with, if I... Prove me now here with if I do not open up the windows of heaven and pour you down a blessing that you do not have room enough to receive it. Meaning when the house of God is dealt with first, then God will cause your money to multiply. Then God will cause you to see what you're doing with your finances. So the problem is not prayers. The problem is obedience obedience and i'm speaking to her and i'm speaking to a whole lot of people that will watch this video many of the things that you think is some witch no it's not the witch it's your disobedience because god has systems god has structures set up in the body of christ to cause you to prosper and if you're not obeying those things you can't pray and somehow miraculously somehow miraculously you see the woman is saying true yes i know it's true somehow miraculously you're gonna prosper no you read the word of God you find out the, the mysteries of the kingdom you obey you will prosper so I, I I'm speaking to some people you are not obedient with the things of God that is why you are not seeing your way with your finances that is why you're not prospering financially so no form of prayer is not going to challenge what God already said so you pay a tight the windows will be opened you pay a tight the heavens will be open so there's a lot of you watching this video you're going to your churches you're receiving you're not paying your tithes there's another there's another mystery I feel I should teach some mysteries a little mysteries and then a little mysteries of, of how to prosper in the kingdom of God and then we will go there's another mystery called seed time and harvest a whole lot of people in the body of Christ get this one wrong I'm just teaching what God taught me I'm not condemning nobody tonight I'm just teaching what God taught me and it caused me causes me to prosper all of the time so I'm just sharing a little little knowledge Seed time and harvest. You sow your seed. You wait for it to grow. When the fruit starts maturing and it is harvest time, you pick your fruit. So, I want you to know, when I'm talking about seed time and harvest, it doesn't even only speak about your money. Because whatever you put out into the heart and into the atmosphere, it is your seed. Your words, it's a seed. Your words, it's a seed. Your actions, it's a seed. How you treat people, it's a seed. Whatever you do, whatever you move, whatever you say, oh, ay, 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 la manda, le que say, it's a seed. And the bad thing about it, and I'm going to tell you the good in a few minutes the bad thing about it is whatever you sow you must reap so you can bring 100,000 to the church and then when you walk on the road you're treating people like dogs and pigs you will reap those same treatments like dogs and pigs whether you like it or not so whatever you reap whatever you reap you will sow that is how seed time and harvest operates you whatever you put out into the atmosphere whatever you put out you will receive you will receive so whether you bring a whole bag of money and put it on the altar and your attitude is like a pig you will receive that same pig like attitude so your words what you say in what you say in the morning you're sowing seeds into your day you're sowing seeds into your day. And let me teach you a very powerful mystery. The Bible said, when the seed dies, a new life is parted. Meaning, 
you can tie a situation to your seed you can tie a problem to your seed you can tie a sickness to your seed you can tie whatever you're going through you can tie bad seasons to your seed and as the seed dies that thing must die and as it is parted you can call forth what you want to be parted as the seed the new life is parted so let me show you how dangerous it is to steal money from the church because whatever that person ties to that seed if that seed does not die and you pick that money before the seed dies whatever they tie to the seed you don't just pick the money you pick that thing they they, 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 they tie to the seed that is what happened to Gehazi the man a man he had leprosy and God told God told his prophet Elijah don't collect no money from that man because he's tying his leprosy to that seed to that money but Gehazi was so greedy he followed that man and he said man of God my sir my, my my master did not collect the money but I will collect the money for him he collected that money and uh, yeah, 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 yeah he collected that money and the same leprosy that came from Naman went on Gehazi and he died from leprosy what happened there the seed did not yet die so that the leprosy can die so when you pick money from the basket from the offering basket and somebody ties cancer you don't just pick the money you pick their cancer when you pick the money from the offering basket and somebody ties poverty you don't just you don't just pick the money you don't just steal from the church you pick their poverty <laughs> a lot of you didn't know this a lot of you didn't know this. So, the next time you're sowing, you say, my father, I tie this sickness to the seed. I tie this poverty to the seed. I tie this bad season to the seed. I tie whatever it is to the seed. And Lord, as this seed dies, let it die. And as this seed is parted, let my blessings be parted. Let my increase be parted. Let my favor be parted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So I want you guys to put it to work immediately. I'm not saying so into my life. No. Go to your church. Go to your man of God. And so, so, so. Tie your problem to that seed. And call forth what you want. You just find your man of God. Whatever church you go to, whatever ministry your God connected you to, and practice these mysteries, then you will prosper. Then you will prosper. So, I don't know how this information was helpful. There are many more ways to prosper in the kingdom of God, but that is just two. Sea time and harvest and tithing. But there are many more. And we will do a video on that some other time. Madore bekele bokore manda akare badiamando. Oh my God, I feel alive. I feel blessed, blessed and highly favored of God. Let me see how many persons is on tonight. Fifty-three, fifty-four. I want each and every one of you, fifty-four persons. If you did not like this live stream like this video right now so that other persons can see the notification like this video right now each and every one of you watching right now on the live stream like this video just like just hit that like button hit that like button hit that like button hit that like button right now right now right now each and every one of you i'm seeing 50 something persons on the live stream i want each and every one of you hit that like like button so that that other persons in your in your friends list can see this video and be blessed by the spirit of the living God right now right now I want each and every one of you hit that like button hit it right now hit it right now hit it right now in Jesus name and share this video 
God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mado rebere le mando uko rebadi alamando. Rabadi kelebo se kelebo kremanda. Alamando le kelemondo. Rebere kelebo. Rebere kelemondo. You are blessed. You are highly favored of God in the name of Jesus. 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 The The Lord said, Don't cut off yet because there are some more persons He wants me to pray for. I am Mando Robo Kosia. Let me see, let me see. Ila Bali Kalamando. Ila Mando, Ila Mando, Ila Mando. Rabade Kelebo Sikelemundo. Holy Spirit of the Living God. Oh, by the way, you guys can see this intro right at the top of my page. The minute you come off of this, live stream you're gonna see a little intro there inviting you guys to come out to this miracle service me pastor misa and the team we're hosting a miracle service one night of miracle service god is about to do great and mighty things the 13th of november that is not sunday coming the following sunday right here in linden what you guys can do if you're in Guyana and you want directions on the location you can find my number right there on the page you can call me message me on whatsapp message me on messenger just to get out more info more information to find the location so make sure you are there if you think you've seen miracles come the 13th of November and receive from the spirit of the living God. Mercy Brisport, I pray for you. Let there be divine intervention. Divine intervention in the name of Jesus. It means whatever it is, God is dealing with it. Is there anybody that is sick right now watching this video? I want to pray for you. I sense a strong grace of healing moving right now. A strong grace of healing or maybe you know somebody that is sick I want to pray for that person a strong grace of healing Madore bere ke le mondo e branda le mondo e bladi le ke le mondo for the persons that is sick I'm gonna pray for you and then immediately after you're gonna check yourself and whatever it is, whatever it is, pain, cancer, HIV, I don't care. Whatever it is, it is going to go. The Lord is going to remove it. And then you're going to check yourself. You're going to comment. And let us know if you're still having the symptoms or if you're still sick. Father, in the name of Jesus. We curse those devil causing those infirmities. We cast them out today. We command those spirits to leave your bodies right now. I release the grace of healing into your bloodstream, into your bones, your marrows, your muscles, from the crown of your head onto the sole of your feet. For whoever needs healing right now, I release that grace of healing. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Father, I thank you for healing them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now check yourself. 
for the portions that we just pray for. Let me know if you're still having the pain. Let me know if you're still feeling that headache, whatever. If God has healed you, comment and let us know while we're worshiping God. Yahweh, Yahweh. Even while I'm worshiping God, the Lord is healing you. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are powerful, so powerful in Yahweh. Elohim Adonai, Elohim. Good, I see one person healed, and there are many more. Keep commenting, keep commenting. Lion of Judah, you're the lamb upon the throne. We hail you, Most High. It goes, you're the Lion of Judah, you're the lamb upon the throne. We hail you, Most High. Elohim Adonai ah, ah, Elohim Elohim Adonai ah, ah, Elohim We hail the Lion We hail the Lamb We hail you We worship you we hail you most high Lord I have come to draw 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 from you again Lord I have come to draw yesterday is gone today we are in need Draw from you again. I hope you guys are seeing what God is doing while we while we're worshiping Him. Lord, I have come to draw. Yesterday is gone. Today we are in need. Draw from you again. fire for you for you I want to know your heart <laughs> go Jesus <laughs> ah ili karamando robo kusike le manda ela manda rebe ke le mondo jabrandele ke le mondo Ibra dele ke le mondo Healing, 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 healing. Heal them, Lord. Hey, the Lord says, good, good, the pain is gone. Hey, the Lord says, high blood pressure goes down back to normal. We command cancer to dry up. We command HIV to disappear. We command every blood disease to leave your blood. We command kidneys that was malfunctioned to function properly. Every organ in your body that was taken out because of some surgery or because of some sickness, I connect to the superior altar that is in heaven and I access the organs that is in heaven and I impart it into your body miraculously whatever organ that is not functioning properly we impart it by the spirit of the living God look how many, look how many persons Jesus is healing 
We're not even praying anymore. We stopped praying a long time ago. Can you guys see Jesus Christ is Lord? Demonstration of this of the power of God is not to show that Colette Alicock is powerful. All God is doing here is to let the world know that Jesus Christ ay, 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 is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. When He heals you, it is for His glory. When He blesses you, it is for His glory. It is not for my glory. God, Jesus, ayale mondo robo kosi kele mondo elamanda. I want you people to know you don't serve a dead God you serve a mighty God God is on your side power is on your side the Holy Ghost is on your side you are blessed and are the favorite of God God Jesus I <laughs> Ebrande le kesi ikaramando rabade kelebo rabande le kelemundo. So healings are taking place right now, and we ain't praying. <laughs> this is to show that God is healing them by Himself. Ah, oh. this song from a Benny in video glory 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 to the land for you are glorious and worthy to be praised the Lamb upon the throne and on to you we lift our voice and say you are the lamb upon the throne <laughs> just soak in his presence his presence is rich his presence is rich. It's about to shift. I'm going to sing a, prof a, a particular song prophetically by the Spirit of God. And you're going to feel, you're going to feel the, the, the presence of God it, so mightily. Some of you are going to feel God literally hogging you. Some of you are going to feel God literally hogging you. Oh my God, this is, this is supernatural. You're going to feel the, you're going to feel God hogging you in the spiritual realm. As I sing this song, watch this. The atmosphere is changing now, and the spirit of the Lord is here. The heavens are open up, and the spirit of the Lord is here. You're feeling them hugging you. Overflow in this place. Fill our hearts with your love. Your love surrounds us. <laughs> You're the reason we came to encounter your love. Your love surrounds us. My God, I can't even sing. I feel His presence so mighty. We pray for your sister. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, the Lord is hugging some of you. The Lord is hugging some of you. The Lord is hugging some of you. Oh, my God. My God. kalimondo. Rebede kelebo remanda akare mundo. Rebede kelemundo. 
jebrandele ke se esparliondo o kuremendele ke se ira manda rebo ko shikele manda akare mundo ira manda ira manda is presence is presence you see you can fake miracles you can fake prophecy you can fake false prophetic words you can fake prophetic words but you can't fake the presence of god you cannot fake the presence of god you cannot fake the presence of god witches can perform miracles witches can heal the sick witches can prophesy but witches cannot carry and host the presence of god when a man or a woman hosts the presence of god and carries the presence of god in his life or in our life respect that man respect that woman because they paid a price god's presence let me tell you something god's presence is a attracted to those who bear many scars god's presence is a touch and attracted for those who bear many scars meaning for the type of christians who don't like to go through nothing god's presence will be far from you but the more you go through the more you suffer the more people treat you bad the more you 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 bear scars the more the presence of god is attached to you so when you see the presence of god so rich in colis alicox life so rich in a man's life in a young man in a young man's life so rich in a woman's life in a man of god's life or a woman of god's life they have many scars they suffered a lot they paid the price so honor that man i'm not telling you to honor me I'm not compelling you or commanding you to honor me. I'm just just saying uh, the truth. Can I speak the truth? It is the it is for too long people are dishonoring men and women of God in the body of Christ. You don't know the price they paid to carry and host the presence of God. You try hosting the presence of God by yourself. You know God will never show up. You know God will show up in your room. You know you pray you pray dry and you don't even feel the presence of God and yet still when you see a man of God hosting the presence of God hosting the presence of God when you see a woman of God hosting the presence of God you dishonor them and you try doing it yourself you can't even get God to even answer your own prayers hayale mundo rabadekele it takes scars it takes pain for to host the presence of god you must go through the fire seasons of hardship seasons of testing seasons of trials i'm talking from experience i'm talking from experience because if god should open your eyes hayale mundo romonde de que say to see the scars on my spirit I'm I'm not saying my spirit is dirty i'm saying uh, the level of things i went through and suffered to carry the presence of god so rich in my life many of you would start weeping right now many of you would start weeping right now we still wait is it this can't be true <laughs> this can't be true You're feeling his presence. Some of you you're crying. You're feeling him so rich in your room. You're feeling him so rich in your home. And for some of you, the minute I end this live stream, you will stop feeling his presence. Why? Because he's going to show you this this thing that you're feeling here, you don't just get it like that. You got to pay the price. <laughs> You got to pay the price. The minute I end this live stream in a few minutes from now, that same presence of God you're enjoying, it will stop. You will hold back his presence from you. Some of you, 
Because you got to pay the price for his presence. So, you can model up in some bush corner and receive a charm and you could prophesy. Or you can model up and go by some witch or some wizard and they can give you some, some power to heal the sick. But when it comes to hosting the presence of God, you can't fake that. You cannot fake that. So, there's many persons, many persons wondering, wait, 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 wait. How can I know this man is a true man of God? How can I know this woman is a true woman of God? Is the presence of God still in their life? That is the question you're, you're supposed to ask. As long as you see the presence of God rich in a man's life, And a woman's life you shouldn't even ask if that man is a fake or if he's real because God don't give his presence to any and anybody not even every Christian know how to host the presence of God so when a man is carrying the presence of God or a woman is carrying the presence of God in their life honor that person honor that person because they paid some prices that many will not be able to pay. Mara mando ukore bere kele mondo rabadi kere bosio ilamando ilamala bali amando rabali kele bosio and a woman's life ilabali kele mondo. Rabali kerebosi Italamando Ayalamanda I'm going to sing this song It's a cry in the spirit And as I sing this song you're going to feel the presence of God increasing a little more increasing a little more there's a lot of persons who call themselves worshippers. There's a lot of persons who call themselves ministers or, or worshippers. But what is worship when the presence of God is not there? Who are you worshipping? If it's God you're worshipping, His presence must be present. I'm going to sing a song to show you guys something. And as I as I sing this song, just soak in God's presence. Just release yourself. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Let only you be seen. Let only you be known. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over your church, oh Yahweh. Let only you be seen, let only you be known. Yahweh, you be praised, Yahweh, you be praised. Let only you be praised, let only you be praised. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my family, Yahweh, let only you be seen, let only you be known. Over your church, oh Yahweh, over your family, Yahweh, let only you be seen, let only you be known. Let no man see me, let them see you, Jesus. Let no man see me, let them see you, Jesus. Let no man see me, let they see you, Jesus. Only you. Hey, I, 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 Watch this. Holy Spirit, 
you the Lord of Israel. Holy Spirit, I'm nothing without you. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Lord of Israel. Holy Spirit, I'm nothing without you. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over your church, oh Yahweh. Let only you be seen. Let only you be known. It's increasing now. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over your church, oh Yahweh. Many of you are crying. Let only you be seen. Let only you be known. Oh, hey, hey, hey. let only you be known. Let only you be known. So you see, <laughs> you don't have to have a beautiful voice to the presence of God. He is looking for the continents of your heart. He's looking for the continents of your heart. There are many who know gospel songs and who know them very well and who have beautiful voices but the Lord's presence is far from them and I said to God how is it that a man and a woman can sing so lovely but yet still your presence is far from them and he said I'm not looking at how good they sing I'm looking at the continents of their heart I'm looking at the continents of their heart there are many of them they know a lot of gospels they know how to sing they know how to sing very very well they have Whitney Houston voices and Michael Jackson voices but why yeah 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 but when God scans them in the spiritual realm he has seen pride he has seen envy he has seen loss he has seen perversions and God God is saying, I cannot wrap my presence in such a person's life because I mondo say my name will be on the line. My name will be on the line. kalamando. So whether your voice, your voice sounds like a singer or not, as long as this heart is pure. Ah, the presence of God will leave everybody else. It would look like if God is by us and hug you and engraft around you and be so rich in your life. Because he's looking at the continents of your heart. No glory in this world, no greatness here for me. No glory in this world, my great reward is you. Call this one trade you for gold. Your presence is my Lord. My goal is to see your face and hear you say, Well done. Hallelujah. I keep singing the song of saints till I reach my home. No glory in this world, no greatness here for me. No glory in this world, my great reward is you. Call this one trade you for gold. Your presence is my Lord. My goal is to see your face and hear you say, Well done. No glory in this world no greatness here for me no glory in this world no greatness here for me my goal is to see your face and hear you say well done my goal is to see your face and see you smile at me one more time no glory in this world no greatness here for me no glory 
in this world my great reward is you call this wounded you for gold jesus your presence is my lord my goal is to see your face and see you smile at me I'll keep singing the song of saints till I reach my goal. <laughs> ah, and through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. Through it all, through it all, it is well. And true it all, true it all, my eyes are on you, and it is well, it is well. So let go, my soul, and trust in Him. The waging way still knows His name. So let go my soul and trust in him the waging wind still knows his name and it is well it is well with my soul the lord said to Gehazi say unto the righteous it shall be well I prophesy as a servant of God in your life in your home in your family tonight I don't care what you're going through I don't care I don't know what you're going through but I know it is well it is well it is well ask those persons whom I message these three words and ask them what were their testimonies it is well there's a lot of persons they message me they message me they say man of God please pray for this and all I reply with it is well that is all and they, they ay, 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 ay. ask them ah, Romondo, Romondo, they can say. ask them how mighty are their testimonies I speak it is well 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 that is all I say it is well it is well sounds simple but it is powerful in the realm of the spirit it is well in the name of Jesus God bless you child of God thank you for tuning in thank you for tuning in this is Rise Up Ambassadors of Jesus Christ. Prophetic word. The oil that never runs dry. You have that oil in your life. You have that oil in your life. I will not pray that smooth sleep prayer. Because many of you, the Lord will not allow you to sleep tonight. <laughs> The grace that is on you is going to cause you to pray. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. Pray, 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 pray. Many of you are going to stay up all night. You're going to pray. No smooth sleep tonight. Pray. 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 Thank you for joining. Shalom. Stay in the presence of